is Hindalco, one of the outstanding performers this year, uh, this stock, quietly, I think it's almost doubled year to date. Uh, but what's driving it today? Well, you know, Lata, it's at around 159 rupees. At its low, that's in February 2012, it was at 59 rupees. So it's done a good 100 bucks in the last uh, six months or so. I remember, the numbers came last week. They look fantastic. But the reason the stock is buzzing today is because Motilal, they came out with the note. In fact, they're giving a higher multiple to the stock. They have a buy rating. They have a target price of around 216. Prior to this, they were valuing it at around six uh, times EV upon a bitter. Now they're valuing it at around six and a half times EV upon a bitter. So that's what's giving rise to the target price moving higher. The key points, really, they're stating is that they expect the company to generate free cash flows uh, in the coming year. And that's the first time in the last uh, 10 years. And a very important point that they're making, they're saying smelting margins, they're more correlated in terms uh, of the logistic costs and the way they're ma managing the logistic costs in comparison to normally we only talk about LME prices. So they're giving us a bit of a different view. They say that logistic costs, they play a very important uh, role uh, in terms of the cost of uh, production. And they're giving us some details. You need to move around 18 to around 19 tons of uh, material to produce one ton of aluminum. We we know that nearly around 10 to 11 uh, tons of coal is required. We require nearly around 5, 6 uh, tons of bauxite. So close to around 18 tons uh, you're moving. So that's why logistic cost becomes very, very important. And they're getting it right now is what they state. Bauxite mines are running fine. The Utkal refinery as well is doing very well. And the cost of production at the Utkal refinery itself has fallen now all the way to around $166 per ton in comparison to more than $250 per ton. The cost of production for aluminum has fallen to around $1,400 per ton. I remember it being at around $2,000 per ton as well. Now they're saying free cash flow is coming for them for the first time in the last 10 years. Novelis as well, they are guiding for around $250 million in terms of a free cash flow. And also they've done a refinance exercise. That's what's going to help them as well. Stock at the high point of the day as we speak. EPS upgrade? Uh, EPS, you know, the, currently they've given, uh, maybe they did the EPS upgrade when the results came. That was the last week, that's last Friday itself. But currently they've uh, given the target price, price increase update. because they're giving a higher multiple, six and a half times EV per an EBITDA. Well, Lada, you know, we had Anshu as well early morning who had spoken to various aluminum producers. The numbers are looking so good, I don't know how they're going to get any protection. I'm a little worried uh, for them no, now. I think protection is going to be very tough. Yeah. Uh, definitely an MIP is uh, something which is not compliant. But uh, in any case, it looks like they can walk without crutches. So uh, good going. And uh, to be fair, it was Credit Suisse which first uh, yeah. noted this uh, almost eight months back. So got it right.